Welcome to the Arabesque Sewing Studio. I'm Ali Phillips and in this video I'm bringing you a tutorial for how to make a scrappy patchwork version of the sewing space station. Now if you're not familiar with this pattern, this is a sewing machine mat that has been designed very thoughtfully so it has storage in it but it doesn't hang in front of you, it hangs off to the left so that all your tools are exactly where you need them but they're not in the way. And the top of the mat has pockets in it so that when you're finished your project you can simply pop your project and all your tools into the top of the mat, snap the flaps shut, fold it up and then you're all packed up and ready to go. So if you're someone who doesn't have a sewing space or you love to travel to classes or to sew with friends you can take this with you and you've got everything you need in one place. Now this is the version that I made in the tutorial series so if you would like to sew along with me and make this from start to finish, I have six videos to take you right through how to sew this. So if you would like to grab a pattern, you can find one of them at arabescescissors.com or it's available in the link below. Now, if you love sewing organizational videos that simplify tricky sewing techniques and help you grow in your confidence, I'd love you to give this video a like and I'd love you to hit that subscribe button. Now I have a scrappy patchwork version of the space station here. So this is the first version that I've made and as you can see the exterior is pieced out of patchwork and if we open it up you can see inside that the top of the mat is also pieced. So the idea of this is that you can dive into your scrap bin and pull together a bunch of scraps that is going to make a fabulous space station. So the idea of this is to inspire you to use your scraps. So I'm urging you to just go for this, grab a bunch of scraps that you would like and sew some panels until you get to the size that you need. But if you would like some extra hand holding and inspiration, you can head to my blog and the details are linked below and you'll be able to follow along with the exact measurements that I'm using today. So I haven't made all of the panels out of patchwork and as you can see here the top of the base and you can't see here but inside here we have the lining and I'll try and open it up and show you inside so inside the lining here and for the top of the base I have used a full piece of fabric and the reason for that is if you were going to use a lot of pieces to piece this you would have a lot of seams inside of the pockets and so if you're planning on giving your pockets a lot of use, so you would be sliding things in and out of them all the time and particularly hard rigid things, my opinion is that these could catch on these seams and make it quite hard to put things in and also over time could perhaps open up some holes. So my recommendation is to just piece the top pocket panel and the exterior base out of patchwork. And of course you're welcome to try it yourself and maybe you can let me know in the comments below what you think about piecing the whole thing out of scrappy patchwork because I do think that would look really really cute. So let's get started. So here I've got all my fabric cut out and like I said before um, I would really like to inspire you to just grab your scraps and just sew together a whole bunch of coordinates that you like that go together and just use them up but if you would like this tutorial I've cut everything to the right size uh, to make a jigsaw puzzle for this and you can get the printable for this um, if you would like to on my website or you can follow along for the exact sizing just in the tutorial uh, that I have there so this uh, fabric up here is for the base which is the part that will be against the table uh, when the space station is open and you will see it when it's all folded up and this is for the top pocket panel which is what faces up and what the sewing machine sits on so I'm going to be making these in two different sections and then breaking them down into the smaller sections for you so that you can see exactly how to put them together
So I've laid all the pieces out now. So this is section A, this is section B, and this is section C. And just a note here about fussy cutting. So um, we will be constructing this panel and then just cutting it down a little bit uh, because just depending on how much quilting you add um, after you've finished, um, the whole top shrinks a little bit. So if you are planning to do fussy cutting and you would really like say a particular print to end up uh, nice and central, um, just be aware that you are going to be losing about half an inch roughly on all of the edges here. So you might want to plan just to put your fussy cuts more in the middle or just um, not be too worried if you cut a little bit off the edges. So we're going to construct this just like you would any other quilt pattern. So we're just going to sew pieces right sides together and press the seams open. Uh, you can actually press with your fingers if you would like or you can press with an iron depending on how um, meticulous you want to be. And so the idea is that we're going to sew these together in batches. So these two will sew together and this one will sew to this one, this one will sew to this one, this one will sew to this one and then these two sections will join to the middle one and we will be building our top which is our base um, as we go like this and so I'm not going to go into too much detail now I'm just going to construct this and you can follow along and then I'll show you back at the end what it looks like. To section B we're going to start with these two. I'm going to sew this one to this one and then build this one onto the top then sew these two together, build that one onto that one and then sew these three together and build all this onto that panel. quarters by 17 and a quarter and that's just going to depend on um, how your piecing goes. So this is ready now to make into a quilt sandwich and to quilt. So we'll get started with the top part. That's done in the same way, it's done in three sections, A, B and C, and you put each of the pieces together um, in the right order, and finally you sew three panels together, and you end up with this top section. So I am just so excited with how gorgeous this is looking. Um, I just love this tilde, it's so bright and vibrant, and I can't wait to show you the finished station. So just reminding you, if you would like um, to follow the tutorial for what I have done for this, you can head to my blog at arabesscissors.com and there is a free tutorial there and there is also a printable version that you can purchase um, with cutting charts and everything all in one place uh, so that you can follow along. So yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun with this 
and if you go ahead and make your own version out of scraps I'd love you to tag me so you can tag me at Arabesque Scissors on Instagram or on my Facebook account so yeah I hope you have a lot of fun